Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to enable or disable auto updates in Mac OS. So pretty straightforward. This is going to be for the Sierra 10.12 build of Mac OS, but if you think about it, it should apply for other versions as well. So we're going to just jump right into it and we're going to start by heading up to the Apple icon in the top left corner of the screen and left click on it. And then you're going to left click on the second option down that says System Preferences. So left click on that. On the System Preferences window that comes up, you want to left click on the area that says App Store. Make sure I have an A icon in a circle. So we want to left click on that. So this is where we're going to be able to change our current update settings. So we can see the Apple Store keeps OS X and apps from the App Store up to date. We can see that automatically check for updates is enabled. If you deselect this by checking this box, it'll disable all automatic checks. If you do keep it checkmarked, then you can see we can select other options as well. So we can further go down and see what we want to enable or disable for automatic checks. So if you wanted to install OS X updates, you could left click inside this box to install those updates and you can maybe deselect install system data files and security updates from this list if you chose to do so. So pretty straightforward, you can just set to disable all of them if you choose, and it doesn't really matter that much. And you can also see if your computer is set to receive beta software updates, if you click on this change button here, you can change if you are going to be displayed beta software updates or not. So if you are being shown beta software updates, you can disable them from here as well. So I'm just going to keep it how it is for me right now. It's a personal preference. If you're working on a production machine, I would highly recommend not having this enabled. But pretty straightforward, guys. Just make your selections, and then once you're done, you can close out of this App Store window, and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.